How y'all doing today? Y'all in here? Hold on. I'm holding up these golf clips. I got the golf clips. How y'all doing today? What's up with? Well, I'm over here in beautiful East Denver. If you ain't never been there, go check it out. Waving at the neighbor. Hi. No, I'm on, my, I'm on video. Say hi to YouTube. Isn't she pretty? The, the east side is such a beautiful place. Um, it's uh, right off of downtown. I'm not gonna go into it too much about exactly where I am, but um, it's so wonderful down here. I've been hanging out down here a lot. Um, I know I've been away from YouTube for a while. Aren't you honking to me? Yeah, my ancestors. Aren't you honking to me? No, maybe not. All right. Uh, so I know I've been off of YouTube for a while. Probably owe YouTube an explanation, um, which a detailed one will show up eventually. Oh God! Oh my God! What the fuck is going on? What's going on? What is it? On the side! On the side! Got to get him on the side! Got to get him on the side! Got to get him on the side, brother! Get him on the side! Get him on the side! You're all right, brother! You're all right! You're all right! Hey, which, which apartment? Which uh, apartment? 1911. 1911. Oh, fuck. This is fucking crazy. This place is never a dull moment, dude. Well, here we go. I'm not gonna put him on camera, but... Homie's having a seizure! Homeboy's having a seizure. What? Homeboy's having a seizure right oh. right there. Right there. Who's that? Oh? Mama! Stop, stop, stop. Hey, Mama! Fuck, I don't think she's home. Fuck. Here. Well, I've got a warrant, so I guess we'll get into that later. But I gotta get the fuck out of here. I hope it was much better. I don't know who he is. Send the ambulance. Early thirties. Early thirties. I don't know. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? No, he's unconscious. Oh, wake up. That's it. Yeah, he's breathing. There. Yes. Yes. I don't know. Tell him he's an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic. Yes. yes. Thank you. Can you go get some cold water? Yep. Oh, I can't. I'm locked out. I cannot. I'm sorry. I'm locked out of my house too. Yeah, I'm sorry. I cannot. <laughs> I gave my dog a Yeah. He just fell in the corner. He was yeah, a he's having a seizure. I've got a warrant. I can't be here any longer. So, I gotta go. Um, I was going to tell you about, uh, the homicide detective that came and talked to me the other day. It doesn't have nothing to do with anything I did. Uh, uh, but they unfortunately found a woman, uh, deceased. I'm going the wrong way. There we go. I was about to go the wrong way. Okay. Uh, they found a woman deceased very near to my house. Uh, led to the new spot that I moved into. That's another thing I got to get into moving. I know I haven't talked to you guys about the fact that I moved, but we'll get into that later. <coughs> oh, excuse me.
me. This has been crazy. Dude, I've got, I'm doing, moving a load of stuff. Look at this. This is what I'm doing. I'm over here moving a load of stuff in the storage. And here we are. So, anyway, um, this new spot that I'm in, uh, it's just, it's wild. And I've been trying to settle in over here in East Denver. And um, it's been amazing in a lot of ways. It, it's such a beautiful neighborhood and it's uh, very alive. Um, it's alive all the time. It's like a small part of, you know, a big city. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just popping, you know. You can always get into something, you always see something going on. Uh, unfortunately though, whenever there's that many people everywhere, um, you get to see the bad too, right? You get to see the seizures and whatnot. Uh, stuff like that. So, anyway, um, man, I, I gotta get a 7 Eleven. Dude, the 7 Eleven over here is going out of business. 50% off, right? I hope you guys can hear this. Ah, I'm sweating now. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> I just got out of the shower. But, um, so the 7 Eleven is going out of business, dude. They're, everything in the store is 50% off. I got a gang of shit the other day, dude. I was stoked. I'm going back again right now. I'm gonna go, uh, what you call on supplies. I'm gonna go stock up on supplies. Um, but unfortunately, they found uh, they found a young woman uh, in her early twenties uh, deceased by uh, by uh, my house. Um, and the they, well, they wanted to talk to me. They, they, they basically the the detectives wanted to talk to everybody, right? But I didn't want to get around there. So I made myself scarce. I got a little warrant for, uh, well, we're not going to get into that either. But it ain't nothing crazy. You guys can go look it up if you wanted to, if you was that serious about it. Um, but I'm not going to, I don't want to uh, discuss it online, clearly. I'm not one of these people who likes to discuss illegal situations online. But I will tell you this, it is a petty offense. So, um, I said, uh, yeah, right, I got to go. Here's seven minutes. Oh, okay. Not bad. Kind of frumpy, but not bad. Work with it. Here we go. 50% off, class. 50% off. That's one of my favorite. One of my favorite words. One of my favorite sets of words. Except for free. This shit's free. Ah, I like that, too. I've been getting some cool shit free. Check this out. Free. Bam. Those things go for like 130, 140 bucks. That is one of the first computers right it's called the i don't even remember it's called the micron 775 but it's uh something else it does something it's, uh, yeah i keep wanting to say the escher but i don't think that's what it is i don't think it's the right word i don't know i don't know exactly what it does anyway let's get back to this man sweat in my eyes give me three seconds sorry about that Let cut this part out alfred where's alfred when you need him so this young woman unfortunately lost her life and uh, I guess uh, I happened to be one of the people who saw the body um, right and called the cops somebody else called the cops and then so the cops show up around the neighborhood and they say uh, we'd like to uh, talk to everybody and they start doing interviews with everybody and I do not uh, um, uh, do interviews with them <laughs> for lack of a better way to put it so I ducked these fools for I don't know, eight, nine days. And what do you guys think got me, get hip the cops to, to me? You know, crazy guess. What do you think it is? The, the white guy in the hood or the bald head or what do you think? Jack. The cops seen Jack and said, you know, what dog is that? What's the dog's name? Because Jack wants to say hi to everybody. He wants to talk to everybody. What's the dog's name? They said, well, that's, uh, that's Jack. He said, well, who does he belong to? He said, Perm. He said, Perm? Who's that? He said, that's the fat white guy, the fat bald white guy. He said, oh, well, we don't got him down. We don't got no Perm down here. They realize that there's somebody around that they not been able to talk to you yet, right? So they freak out. They think that they got they got their serial murderer. They looked up they looked up uh or they looked at the 
was. No, I guess they didn't look because they didn't know who I was yet. They didn't look me up yet, but now they think they got like this mystery man, right? So they got this mystery man and they're like, we're going to hit it, right? So they hit my roommate's spot and said, uh, who is this dude? Da, 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 da. Who's Perm? We want his phone number now. We want his email. Da, 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 da. This and that. And he says, uh, he tells him, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can get his phone number or whatever. He says, you don't got your roommate's phone number? He goes, hey, man, listen, you know, I don't just, I just give out anything. You know, I don't have to give you anything. You don't have a warrant. He said, but I'm trying to help you guys out here. So they call me and tell me. I said, shit, give me his number. I call him. I call him. I talk to him. So he gives me his number. I call him through that. He says, uh, the normal, you know, uh, uh, uh. What were you doing? Or were you over there that night? I said, yeah, I was. Uh, and I was. I was there with two women and my partner. So, you know what I mean? Like, I have, like, an ironside out with my guy. He says, uh, well, what were you guys doing? Hey, we're hanging out. Hanging out with the females. You know what I mean? Having a good time. Said, okay. Well, uh, what, uh, you know, what time you get there? What time you leave? Da, 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 da. And uh, what about, you know, what about this girl? Did you hear anything? I said, man, I ain't heard nothing. I said, the first time I went out there, I was out there like, I don't know. I wasn't out there late at night. I think I went out early in the morning was the first time I went out. There was a girl laying there. I didn't think nothing of it. There's people passed out all over this neighborhood. You see people face down, ass up all the time. It's pretty much damn near a daily occurrence. I don't know if it'd be daily, but I say five times a week, I'll see somebody face down, ass up, just crashed out. So it wasn't weird. Whenever I walked out and seen some girl all crashed out, and it's between two buildings, right? Well, between those two buildings, if you think about it, it's in the middle of a heat wave. That's a common sense. That's what somebody would do in the middle of a heat wave is they would find, if they were going to pass out, you want to find two buildings, right, some shade, and she would pass out. So it looked to me like it made perfect sense whenever I seen it. It didn't look like anybody was dead or anything like that. Right? All right, cool. So I cruised out. Now, later on that day, I came back. And whenever I came back, I come walking in the gate. And I look over, I go to look, because I'm going to go see. And I go look. And she ain't moved in like six hours, seven hours. She ain't moved. Um, and there's flies on her face. It was, uh, it was a trip. It was a trip. I knew she was, I knew she was done right there. The neighbor then comes out and says, uh, I'm going to call the cops. She says, uh, so whatever you got to do, you know what I mean? Get yourself ready because the cops are going to be here quick. I said, okay. And, uh, I'll tell you what, the fucking response time, whenever you tell them, apparently whenever you tell them there's a body here, a dead body, uh, they were on scene within 90 seconds, maybe, maybe 90 seconds. Yeah. Um, it was a weird situation. Um, a lot of death. There's a lot of death going on in the city. I've witnessed a lot of death over the last, uh, you know, last year. Um, so, they call the cops, police show up, I guess, interrogate everybody. I get the hell out of there, I hide the hell out of there, I don't know nothing anyway, like I said. I don't know nothing that this girl couldn't have told you. I just seen the body, that's all I seen. Um, that was, uh, let's see. Maybe, I'd say that was like maybe 10 days ago, something like that, is whenever they found it. And then uh, a couple days ago is whenever they finally, they, they hit the homeboy's house and they were like, hey folks, we want to know who that is. We want to know who Perm is. He needs to call us ASAP. And I didn't have nothing for him. I got, I was with three other people, chilling the whole time, all night long. They were next door. 
I didn't hear nothing. The walls are paper thin. I didn't hear nothing, but the detectives have ruled this a homicide within 10 days, maybe something like that. Not 10 days, excuse me. Two days? Like within two days, they were on it. Now, what does that tell me? That tells me that it's not a fentanyl overdose. Right? Because you're hard pressed. It's, it's hard to. If somebody uses fentanyl, it's hard to get convicted of poisoning them. Right? Because there's always the argument well, they did it to themselves. They're over here shooting this stuff up. They're doing fentanyl already. How's it my fault? So the week before that, some guy, I didn't know him, rest in peace to the man, was doing a uh, robbery, apparently, uh, a couple blocks away from my house. Robbery went bad, didn't work out, he takes up running. He ends up uh, hiding in a bush across the street from my house. And then whenever the police find him, he, uh, he offed him. Checked out the uh, do not uh, do not play again. Game over. Um, he said, "My game's over. I'm done with it." And it was like, uh, you know, I didn't really know the dude, but it, it kind of showed some desperation to me. It demonstrated the desperation of the times. Man, I got caught smoking like a mug. I smoked a fat joint before I got in here. This little skeezer is looking for some action too. You see that one right there? Yeah, her? She's looking for something. Uh, that's how late night I might give it to her. Right now, probably not though. So. Probably seen that one already. Not in daylight. Yeah. Yeah, she's out. Um, man. So now, I don't know. There's just been a lot of death. Maybe. Um, and that doesn't even count the robbery. I also got robbed. Uh, but that's a that's a tale for another story. Check in. Check in for the next story. We'll talk about how I got robbed. Like three days ago. <laughs>